Hey y'all, welcome back to another vlog. Um, today is Monday and um, this week I'm very excited because me and Keith are going to France. Um, so yeah, we're going on Wednesday to France for two days. Um, so this week is called Reading Week here in the UK. And so I guess, I don't really understand fully, but I guess it's just kind of like a week that like schools and the university is kind of off, I guess, P students, whatever, can do whatever they want. Um, there's no like classes, I don't think, and then like Keith doesn't have his like seminar type thing that he does. And so we were like, maybe we can go on a trip because everyone was like, you guys should, you know, travel. And so we went on this uh, UK like airline website and they had a trip to Nimes, France um, uh, for both of us $70. So y'all, we are going to France for under $200 for our flight and our Airbnb. It's crazy. It's literally crazy. Um, so yeah. This is what we're doing this week. I'm like kind of trying to prep for the trip. Um, but today will probably be chill. I might paint my nails. I don't know. Um, I'm kind of like cleaning, like doing laundry and stuff. And um, go to the gym later. And then I don't know. It's probably chill today. But. Um, kind of be prepping for the trip this week and then we'll be going on Wednesday and you guys will go with us so this is like our first trip uh in Scotland going somewhere else in Europe and this is our first time in France so I'm excited I'm a little nervous because like the language thing you know so I have Google Translate on my phone and so hopefully that will help us um and then we have to take the bus to the airport so we're gonna see how that goes hopefully it's very easy and it goes well so we can travel more um so yeah i'm so excited this week to take y'all with us and to start traveling like this was a big thing moving here was like okay i can travel the world and for cheap and so i think this is the kickoff and so yeah y'all get to go along so um we'll see what i do the rest of the day i'll vlog if i do anything hey y'all it's wednesday and so we're um getting ready to go to france so we just got done getting ready and now keith is making us some breakfast before we leave um so yeah i'm excited a little nervous because we have to take three buses to get to the airport um and so you know it's public transportation it could be a delay so that's why we're leaving so early we're leaving like 11 30 12 ish um but it takes two hours to get to the airport so um we're gonna do that and so yeah i'm excited and just praying that we make it to the airport on time and we don't get lost on all these buses <laughs> but um yeah let's go and see friends
take off in a minute. Wait, you want it? Maybe. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll catch y'all up when we get to the news. Okay, y'all, we made it to France and we are now on the shuttle bus that we think is going to take us to City Center. French, so uh, it says that it's taking us from the airport to city center, and then hopefully from there we can walk to our Airbnb. Um, so let's just pray that we make it <laughs> to where we need to go to get to our Airbnb. Um, I assume means it's not that big, you know. Since it's taking everybody to Citizen, City Center and our Airbnb host said that like where we're staying is kind of like in the, the center of cities and you can only get there by walking you can't really like get dropped off on the street so hopefully wherever we're dropped off we can get to our place um, so I'll keep y'all updated <laughs> okay uh, we are walking to the Airbnb and oh my gosh the weather is so um sorry it's like hot it's like what 70 it's 70 and it's so beautiful we're walking to our Airbnb in this like middle of town it's like this walkway um and it's so beautiful oh my gosh this is crazy <laughs> Um, let me show y'all. I'm probably going to have a, another clip, but this is like what I'm seeing as we're walking. I'm getting the view. Look at all this. It's so pretty. Excuse me, day two, right, of the vlog. We um, just left our Airbnb, and so now we're trying to find some brunch. And it's so nice out here. It's like 70 degrees. Uh, I'll show y'all. The buildings are so nice. How was the brunch, honey? Fire. Fire. You see how quick I ate it? <laughs> Fire. Both our plates empty. Still working on this French toast. So that French toast, you know? Good. Still working on it.
more so in person, I don't know if y'all can see. Glance, baby. Glance, baby. Wow. There's fish in here, y'all. Big fish, too. We're gonna walk to the um there's a waterfall look at the sea down there. We're gonna walk to the waterfall down there. But this is beautiful. So nice. So we just um, are walking around this waterfall. I just showed y'all. I don't know if y'all can see it behind me. And so now we're about to walk around to this bridge, like crossing over the waterfall. And then we'll head to the Arena de Nimes. So it's supposed to be like a Roman, what is it, Keith? Like a Roman amphitheater. amphitheater. Um, and it's like the only one, I believe in France or something like that. So, we're gonna go see that. Um, and we'll see what else we do today. But it's so beautiful. As, as we were walking, we found this thing. So beautiful. So we're at the so-called Temple of Diana. Now, Diana was an ancient Roman pagan deity or, or a pagan god. And this would be where the worship of Diana was actually carried out. And it's interesting, one of the interesting things um, about this temple, uh, and, there, and there's slight dispute, they, some say that maybe later it could have been a library as well. But one of the interesting things I think that I'm interested in is the fact that this uh, so-called temple of Diana, where people would come and worship this pagan god, goddess, woman, female deity, um, was built during the reign of Caesar Augustus. And if you know anything about classics, or, or classics is, is basically the history of the Greco-Roman period. If you know anything about that, Caesar Augustus was the emperor when the Lord Jesus came into the earth. And he reigned, or he was born in 63 BC. I believe he died in 80, uh, 19. But in that time period, obviously, uh, the Lord Jesus uh, came to earth. And we know this um, because even the Gospels uh, record this, Luke chapter 2. And it's so funny because Luke is a historian. <laughs> so you would expect him to be sharp. You feel what I'm saying? And so he's like, yo, now in the days of Caesar Augustus, right? And so this actual temple, I said I didn't say, this actual temple was built during the time of Caesar Augustus. And I'm still trying to stand the camera, but it's dope. And show him how big it is. Crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, it's huge. So getting to experience history. And at the same time, man, growing in our love and awe of the God of history as well. <laughs> okay, y'all, we made it to the Arena de Nimes. Uh, so we're going into one of the little pockets. Wow. It's crazy. It's 
This is it, yeah. So y'all, it's so cool. You could they gave us this audio pin. Terrible Starbucks, by the way. Sorry. I ain't gonna spill it. That's what you get. God don't like that. <laughs> God don't like me talking about <laughs> So Starbucks. We get this, sorry, this audio pin. And then you have this map. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so you like we're on number three, so then you just you just oh. set it? Yeah. That's so cool. And then it starts. Here is 139 of the Common Era, once known as AD. It and gives you a little tell you excerpt about, about what we're looking at. Isn't that so cool? Keith, tell us where we are. So we're in a Roman amphitheater. Basically, uh, I think this is one of the oldest uh, that still exists, built around 70 CE, so the year 70, literally, <laughs> of the Common Era. So almost 2,000 years ago, you had this structure built, and basically, like, in the middle here, <laughs> in the area, they would have, uh, you know, ancient forms of entertainment. So, like, literally, gladiator fights, animal fighting, whole nine yards, and they say uh, that back in the day, this could hold over 20,000 people. So, wow. it's amazing. Really cool. Dang, 10 beans. Okay, y'all, we made it to a McDonald's. Bro, friend. $10 for a Big Mac, bro. You're wilding. <laughs> wilding. And it's 10 so beans, different. Bro. Look at they have. Wait a minute, 10 um, beans? <laughs> right. Let me show them. Good. They got desserts. They have McFlurry. Like McDonald's in Atlanta. I mean, but they don't Florida, have like donuts and brownies. Yeah, and then they have uh, pine, little pineapple. Uh, McFlurries look different. Let's see, what kind of McFlurries? Yeah, all these type of McFlurries. Oh, look, they got the. Uh, those cookie disc off. Wow. Ryan, it's fancy. Okay. Let me get my sandwich and then you can play with it after, right? Well, I just want to show them look, the fries. Is, they have. They got. Oh, shoot. The fries, they got regular fries and they got deluxe potatoes. Ryan. Okay, this sandwich is, thing. Okay. <laughs> this is so interesting. Bro. Oh, maybe it was the, see, it was the meal that was $10. Yeah. That's all I'm giving you, I ain't got time to be playing. Yeah, what is that? Um, Y'all, at McDonald's, they give you, as a side, you get a big slice of a pineapple. I'm dead. <laughs> so, I love it, the healthiness of it. I get a fry too. And then they also have... Sundays, the machine went down like in America, honey. 